80 years ago, the daring Dambusters raid breached dams on the Ruhr River and dealt a blow to Germany's vital industrial heartland. The raids in May 1943 became famous for the use of a new bouncing bomb, invented by Sir Barnes Wallace. When dropped from an aircraft, these bombs could skip across the surface of the water, like a skimmed stone. The Germans had put underwater nets into the reservoirs to stop torpedo attacks on the dams, but the bombs just bounced over them. The spin that was set in motion when the bomb was dropped also made sure it remained in contact with the dam wall after it hit. It then sank and exploded underwater at the dam's most vulnerable point. But the bouncing bomb was not the only contribution Barnes Wallace made to the war effort. Before the conflict, he had worked on airships and invented the geodetic framework. This was a crisscross frame that gave enormous strength but was very lightweight. Barnes Wallace used this frame to design the Vickers Wellington, the stalwart aircraft of RAF Bomber Command during the early part of the war. With all the strength in its external framework, the inside of the Wellington was far more open, providing space for crew members, cargo, and fuel. Barnes Wallace also developed what became known as earthquake bombs. These had thick steel casings and weighed from 6 to 10 tons. When dropped, they buried themselves into the ground before exploding. The shock wave through the earth was very destructive. They were used with great success on difficult to reach targets like tunnels, U boat pens, and V weapon sites. Barnes Wallace's unique mind saw him awarded more than 140 patents for his inventions, and he continued to work on his ideas even after his formal retirement in 1971. He was an active member of the RAF Association. He became president of Horsham Branch attended various ceremonies and gave numerous lectures. Although most well known for the efficient geodetics of the Wellington and the unique bouncing bomb, these were only one part of a stellar career. Taken in its entirety, Sir Barnes Wallace can certainly lay claim to being one of the greatest aeronautical engineers in British history.